One, two, three, let's start the show. Only four walls are not called home. Home is where the mother lives. Hello, dear friends. Today I am going to tell you the prediction of the January for Aquarius Ascendance. This chart is of the planets revolving in transit. Sankash Chaturthi is on January 2nd and January 31st. Vinayak Chaturthi is on January 16th. Pradashvast is on January 10th and January 26th. New Moon is on January 13th. Makar Sakranti is on January 14th. Now let's move to prediction. Your 11 number is written, so you are Aquarius Ascendant. If your birth horoscope also has 11 number written here, then this prediction is for you. Please do not make any mistake in watching the video, otherwise the prediction will not match. This prediction on the basis of Indian times and dates, so you should set prediction from the date and time of your country. Since January 24, 2020, your Saturn's bad period has begun. Ascendant Saturn is sitting in your 12th house, which can give you problems in health, increase expenses, cause mental disturbance. Saturn is going to stay here for the next year and a half. If doing business, do not think of increasing your business right now, do not take any big decision. Jupiter is the master of your wealth and profit, he is also sitting in the 12th house. Jupiter will set from January 16th to February 10th, so you have to take special care of your health during this time. There may also be a financial problem. When working, keep an eye on the workplace. Go on completing whatever work you have. Do not change jobs. This transit of Jupiter can be beneficial for foreign tour and can also be beneficial for those who do foreign related work. After April 5th, Jupiter will enter in your ascendant, then Jupiter can be beneficial for you. Mercury is the lord of your 5th house and he too will enter in the 12th house after January 5th. At the same time you don't have to argue with your children. If there was any dispute in the matter of love, then discuss it after January 24th. If the problem is resolved by January 30th, then it is fine, or else postpone it till February 20th, because after January 30th, Mercury will retrograde. Key 2 will be in your 10th house in this year. Because of which you will be dissatisfied with your job, but whatever happens, you do not have to leave the job right now. Don't even have to change jobs. Your respect at the workplace will decrease. You should feed the dog every Wednesday. If you donate the blanket, it will reduce the negativity of Key 2. For those whose birth Mars is not good, meaning Mars is in the 4th, 8th or 12th house in your horoscope, then you can observe an Chaturthi on January 16th, Sankashti Chaturthi on January 2nd and January 31st. Venus will enter in your 11th house after January 3rd. Venus is not considered so good in the 11th house, because Venus will not enjoy spending money by coming here, but keeps saving those money. Nevertheless, Venus's positions are good for saving money. Rahu is going to be in your 4th house for this year, then you will have mental disturbance. If you want to get a new house, then stay till this year, then it will be good, otherwise you may get vastu defects. If it is necessary to take home, then definitely consult some good astrologer. During this time your relationship with your mother can also get worse. If Rahu is bad in your horoscope, meaning Rahu is in the house in 4th, 8th or 12th, then you should recite Vishnu Sahastranam on every new moon. Shedding coconut and flowing water will also reduce the bad effect of Rahu. Makar Sankranti is on January 14th, so on that day you can donate. You can feed green fodder to the cow. So now let's see about the bad days you are, or I am, one or two days in a month ago, which gives us stress, discomfort, trouble. Pessimists make it, and that is the time when the lord of the mind and the brain enters the negative position. When the moon comes in the 6th, 8th or 12th house, it hurts us. Those who do not have a good lunar birth, they can observe Pradosh on January 10th and January 24th. 1st and January 2nd, 5th and January 6th, 13th, 14th and January 15th, 28th and January 29th. There will be bad days for you, so you should not take any wrong decision on this day. It is good if you do not fall into the miss of waste. Control your speech. Do not say that someone's soul is hurt. Your expenses may increase. Health problems can also come. Now know about Gaj, Kashri Yoga. When Jupiter and Moon are together, or Jupiter and Moon face to face each other, or in four places, then Gaj, Kashri Yoga is formed. Just like now, the Jupiter is here, when the Moon will come here, in Capricorn or it will come here in Aries, or it will come here in Cancer, or it will come here in Libra, then due to Jupiter and Moon, Gaj, Kashri Yoga will be formed. In Gaj, Kashri Yoga, there is a combination of Jupiter and Moon, Jupiter means money and Moon means water. So during this day the flow of money is good. 
If you do some business, then you can collect payment from someone. During these days, you can get benefit. So this is Gaj, Kashri Yoga. Gaj, Kashri Yoga is being prepared for you in these five days. January 7th and January 21st can be beneficial for you. You will not get much benefit in the rest of the day. Jupiter will stay in your 12th house till April 5th, so you will not get such good fruit of Gajakesari Yoga as it should be. Serve the elderly, spend your time with them. If you help the poor, you will benefit from it. On every new moon, January 13th, put some black sesame in water and offer it to the people tree, will get the benefit too. So this was the January month prediction for Aquarius Ascendant. Keep watching our channel for more information. Thank you.